but that's all I knew. Then I went to the library. It was back when I was 20, uh, I was three years old as a mathematician. It was 1979. In those days, we didn't have the internet, so we went to the library uh, to find out the new stuff. So then I was just browsing, and in advances in applied mathematics, I saw a beautiful short paper that looked nice by three people that I didn't know at the time because I was not a commentarist yet. Green, Nine House, and Wilf. As a proof was, I explained in a second, the title was a probabilistic, but not, it was really probabilistic, but it's really commentarist. Probabilistic proof of the hook length formula. I explain everything in a second. This was, and this too is a free download from Herb's website. Hook length formula. And it's an example how for will computational and conceptual were really intertwined. The proof was inspired and motivated by a practical quote-unquote problem. To generate a young tableau, I explain in a second what it is, uniformly at random. So let me first tell you what is a young tableau. A young tableau is something very important in algebra. Way back in the beginning of the 20th century, at the end of the 19th century, the Reverend Alfred, Alfred Young, using previous work of Frobenius, was interested in so-called representations of the symmetric group. Never mind, let me tell you what it is. Uh, briefly, uh, you have the symmetric group of permutation. You'd like to assign to every permutation some matrix. There are lots of ways of doing it. Of course, once you have a way of assigning two different ones, you can easily make new ones. <coughs> so if you cannot do this, it's called irreducible representations. And it turns out that to describe this irreducible representation, you use a Reverend Young, a Alfred Young, introduced a combinatorial object called the Young Tableau. For example, I have an example. You take, so think of it as an auditorium. And here you have some show. And you have to be able to see here and here. And you have people of n, so in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different heights. Mr. One, who's the shortest, Mr. Two, second shortest, until you get Mr. Nine, who is the tallest. You want, you don't want Mr. Nine to be here. Because then this will not be able to see, It'll be uh, blocking the view. So obviously, the shortest has to be here. They have to decide the second shortest who will be there. It has to be here or here, because if it's, if it's here, uh, somebody here will be uh, blocking two. So there's one possibility. There's another possibility. For example, this. Now three can come here or here, four can come here, and if you do it in such a polite way that nobody will block the view of uh, somebody else, where you want to have a clear view of this front and this front, you get what's called a young tableau. So what it comes to up to, a way of arranging the integers from one to, to n, so we call it lambda one, the first, the first row is lambda one, lambda two, lambda three. 
and the number of boxes is called the size. And I'm okay. Of course, if you don't care about politeness, obviously there are infrastructural ways of uh, doing it. It has nine possibilities for one, but if you want to make it a polite way, such that every row and every column is strictly increasing, then it's called a young tableau, or the full name is standard young tableau. In the presentation theory, sometimes you allow repetitions, but in this case, no repetitions, so it's a standard young tableau. Question, obvious question, how many are they? And there was a beautiful formula. First, there was an ugly formula due to young and forbidious. But then, in the early 50s, Frank, Sral, and Robinson found a beautiful, elegant formula. For one thing, it's obvious if you look at the young tableau of the size 4, 3, 2, and then you do it the other way, what's called the conjugate partition. 3, 3, 2, 1. Obviously, the number of young tableau of say 3, 3, 2, 1, and the same 4, 3, 2 are the same by symmetry. <laughs> it's a flip it. But the original formula due to young forbidness, I won't reproduce it here, you can look it up in Wikipedia or many other places, does not explain the symmetry. It's married to either the rows or the columns. It does not explain it. So frame, what frame? Estrad, Robinson, Estrad, no. Frame, frame, Estrad, Robinson. In those days, they didn't have the hang up of having it alphabetically. So frame was the most important, and then Estrad, I think. So, uh, here is the formula, let me tell you, the hook length formula. So it starts with n factorial on top, but then you divide by something. So there's something called a hook. So look at the naked shape without tapping it. So what I'm not, now drawing is not a young tableau, but something else. Describing the notion of a hook. So let's do a bigger example. Okay. So here is a chocolate shape. It's called a young, a young diagram. And if you fill it up, it's called a young tableau. Pick any cell. It has n cells. So the hook is this thing. The uh, upside down L of gamma, the gamma shape. So the hook of a cell is everything to its right and everything down. That's the hook. And the hook length of the cell is simply how many cells are there in the hook? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the hook length of this cell right here happens to be eight. So let's have a table. So this is not to be confused. It's not a young tableau. It's not this is the young tableau. This is the table of the hook lengths. That may or may not be a young tableau. It's, no, it's not. Uh, it's never. It's, it's in reverse. So we look at the uh, hook lengths. Brian, what's the hook length of this cell? Uh, six. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Wait, what's the hook length of this? Five. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. 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 What's the hook length of this? Three. John, what's the hook length of this cell? One. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, what's the hook length of this? Four. Okay. And May, who can of this? Three. Thank you. Pat, who can of this? One. <coughs> and Pat, what's the who can of this? Two. Okay. Now, surprise! If you take 9 factorial, 
in this case n, and you multiply by all the hooks, 6, 5, 3, times 1, times 4, times 3, times 1, times 2, times 1. You get the exact number of standard Young tableau. And let's do it. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 divided by 2, 3, 4, 3, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, don't tell me, eight. <laughs> and I can't get over, I don't know, hey, that's it, 21 times 8, 21 times 8, 168? I hope I'm right, yeah, okay? That's exactly 168 ways of doing this. This is one out of 168 ways. Beautiful formula. And there is a beautiful proof, even nicer than the proof of Green 9 House and Wheels. I don't want to be uh, obnoxious, uh, but this is a nice proof, but it's an even a nicer proof due to Don Knuss. Thank you. To be fair, I mean, I don't, I don't have. Uh, and this proof. But you have to be fair, this is even a nicer proof. <laughs> For young tableau, you can characterize the young tableau uh, equivalently as that everything has to be the smallest. In this cell, the entry in this cell has to be the smallest of its hook. So for each of them, the probability that this guy will be the smallest is one of the hook lengths. Altogether, the n factorial ways of arranging it any which way. The probability that this will be one is one out of six. Probability that this will be a, a three is one out of five, one out of five, and so on by the basic rules of probability 101, the probability that every cell will have the property that its entry will be the smallest is a factorial times one over the hook length, QED. The beautiful, beautiful proofs. There's only one problem with this, a slight problem. What the problem? No, I it's false. <laughs> because these events are not mutually independent, as you can see. Sometimes it is. This event, uh, and if it's not disjoint, and this event are independent, but these are not independent. So this proof, as beautiful as it seems, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, is false. So we need a better way to explain these proof things. And the way that it came about was algorithmic. The motivation was only a side line. Often, you want to do mathematical experiments. Herb Wilf and his friends were way ahead of the time. They want to do experiments with tableau. So suppose you want to get a typical tableau, have Monte Carlo, and generate 10,000 tableau, and do something, ask them how many, blah, 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 blah. So you need an algorithm fast to do uniformly at random. Now, if you want a random like this, it's no big deal. You can easily write a computer program to generate all the 168 young tableau. And then put it in a hat, check it very well, and take your favorite one young tableau at random. <coughs> but suppose that the shape is uh, 20 by 10, or even 10 by 10. 100 things. I don't have it with me, but it's a huge, huge, huge number. There's no way you can generate all the young tableau of shape 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 times and uh, put it in a hat and pick it. Uh, there's no computer in the whole world. Uh, the whole universe will be too big for this computer. Yet, you want to have an algorithm that at random, uniformly at random, to get it non-uniformly, you can do any which way, but you want to have equal chance. 
You want everybody to be able to show up in exactly the same probability. And this was the green nine has width that motivated this. And it's a beautiful algorithm. And analyzing the algorithm would give a proof of this. I don't have time to do it, but you're welcome to look it up. Let me then describe in the remaining four minutes this beautiful G and W algorithm. <coughs> There's that program, and I'm gonna uh, put it, uh, uh, I'm gonna post it in a few days for everybody to enjoy. <laughs> it's amazing and fast! To get a random a 20 by 20 young tableau, it was a fraction of a second using the ZNW algorithm. So here it goes. You are given the shape, and in a computer you use a random number generator, but here in real life you can just roll and die. So with second simplicity, let's describe an example. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger. I want to construct uniformly at random a random young tableau of the given shape. That's the input. So here goes the G and W algorithm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step number one. Roll a die or have a spinner like a roulette. Average probability, equal probability. <coughs> Pick one of them as a starting point. Take a blindfold. So this one. <laughs> now start walking. And you need different uh, uh, faces of die, or different roulettes. Now you can decide where to go. The hook like this, one, two, three, four, five. So you can, the next step, you have to go on the same hook. So one step you have to preserve in the hook. You have to go to somebody in your hook. So you can either go here, or here, or here, or here. So, once again. <laughs> <laughs> and you keep going until you are in a corner. And you have nowhere to go. So here, it's forced on you. You have to go here because there's only one place to go. So you do this walk randomly, always tossing, uh, rolling a die with the appropriate number of faces, the hook length minus one. And when you're done, you put 10. You put the end here. And you keep going. Now you have a smaller shape. Now we know 10 is occupied here. Now we keep doing it. So once again, we take a die with nine faces. That's the starting point. And we do the hook walk. Here we have four possibilities. So example, so in this case, nowhere to go. Now you have a smaller shape. With N equals eight. Once again. For example, I'm not of many. The computer can do it so fast. And Okay, seven, and then six, five. And that's how you get very, very fast a random young tableau, uniformly at random. And when you analyze this algorithm and try to prove that it works, you get as a bonus, you get as a side effect. <laughs> the proof of this. So they never wanted to prove this hook length formula. All they wanted is to generate, not all, it's very important, a fast, efficient algorithm to generate an end of young tableau. And when they analyze this algorithm, they got the beautiful proof that I very much recommend you look up the paper of the hook length formula. Thank you for your attention very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week.